All right, guys, what is going on, Fly here? Welcome back to the channel. This is my first solo recording since arriving back from PAX Prime. It has been a hectic week, but very enjoyable. PAX Prime was awesome. If you guys follow my Twitter, uh, you guys probably were up to date on what was going on pretty much, but it's always nice to come back um, to what you love to do and to be able to talk to you guys indirectly, but you know, just, just talk to you guys because um, a lot of my videos uh, from PAX Prime were, you know, just kind of group stuff, which group stuff is great, but I, I know a lot of you guys like to just, you know, me to be chilled, kind of more focused, and that's why I like you guys a lot, because you guys allow me to um, be crazy every other video, and then you guys enjoy a little bit more of a serious gameplay, which I can understand that, because these are war games, um, they can be funny at times, but when you fucking... Are goofing off 24/7. It's not. It, well, I don't know. For me, I'm like, all right. Can you have like a serious video every now and then? So yeah, cool. Um, anyways, so the turpits. Yes, it is amazing. Now, does it play amazing? My opinion from it at PAX, it's mediocre. But that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Maybe I just had some, I just had some bad RNG that game. But it's just gorgeous. You know, I I got really annoyed. I'm um, not annoyed, but I was kind of like, oh my gosh, guys, stop fucking orgasming over the Tirpitz and the German, or the Kriegsmarine. Excuse me. I was like, come on, guys. Like, all right, cool, there's ships. But then I started looking at it, or I saw it for the first time, and it is just German engineering at its finest. It's, you know, sure, every ship is symmetrical and stuff, but... It's something that the Germans have in this design that just make makes it drop dead gorgeous. I can't really explain it. Um, I have a soft spot for uh, the German super superseding the super firing top turret with the hammerhead optics right there. You see, I don't know. You guys can't see my mouse, but hang on, we'll have a little closer look at it. See those little optics right there? Oh, I love those. A lot of the German guns have those. Um, what else? The, the camo's beautiful. Uh, hang on, there we go. Uh, it's just... I, some some of you can probably explain for me why I, why I have a crush on it now. And I, I, and, and I do feel bad uh, with my own thoughts being like, why is everyone so excited about this ship? It's just another ship. But it's just gorgeous, guys. I can't... Oh my gosh, it's just beautiful. Anyways, so on to the cool stuff that you guys are probably here for the video, um, or just from the title. Maybe not even the title, I don't know. Um, I will be giving away uh, one or two turpits. That's right, a premium turpits into your um, NA account. Now, it won't be right away because the turpits isn't out on the NA account for purchase yet, at least from my understanding. Um, also, I will be giving away three Marblehead Hang on, let me grab the pamphlets, make make sure these are right. I'll be giving away three Marblehead um, Premium Omahas, kinda-ish. Um, they're pretty much Omaha ships, but they're called Marbleheads. Uh, with an exclusive PAX Prime camo, I'm giving away three of these. Now, how to, an now how to um, enter this drawing is, you know, selfish promotion, whatever, you know. I, I think it's fair. Uh, I want you guys to follow my Twitter. Um, and then, f yeah, just follow this. Follow the Twitter, and if you guys are already followers, I will have you. Uh, what you guys can do to make it super simple, so I can get you guys kind of in the drawing, is you follow the Twitter, and then I will see all the new um, guys who come in or girls, and I will pick from that number, and I can put it into a little, um, what do you want to call it? Little like a uh, raffle. And if you guys are already following me, you guys can unfollow me and refollow me. And that will notify me and that will put you in the drawing. So if you guys um, want a chance to win two Turpits and um, three Marblehead Codes, a link in the description will be for uh, my Twitter. Go ahead and follow that. If you're already a follower, go ahead and unfollow and follow again to be entered in the drawing. Um, I, will, I, will, I will probably have a better um, way of doing it in the future that, that benefits me. With more followers on Twitter, because I like you know when you know it's 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 fun to talk to people on Twitter, and for you guys uh, to getting a nice free awesome ship and some um, more free ships with a Marblehead. But anyways, I know it's a long intro. I probably already edited it to where I put a uh, uh, annotation to skip this whole BS. 
All right, so let's go ahead and look at the Tirpitz. Now, this is a Bismarck class. This is a sister ship of the Bismarck. This is a, oh, I know, I know. I'm, I, I've, I've, I've been orgasming over this thing um, all day today. All right, so let's go over the artillery. So we have 380 millimeter guns, four of them, four times two. Gorgeous, we have secondary. Oh my God, that thing looks fucking horrifying. That thing actually exists. It looks like a... F if you put that thing on the front of a, like a X-Wing, that would look normal. That would look normal. So that is a secondary 105. Then we have six secondary 150 millimeters. Oh my god. Why do the German guns look so good? Okay, anti-air defense. Oh yeah. Oh yes, dude. I love, I love this. We have uh, 12... Or hang on, let's look at these real quick. These are the single ones. So these are 20 millimeter Flak 38s. We have tw uh, we have seven quad 20 millimeters. These are here we go. I I, I gotta pronounce it. Uh, Flak Vilin. Fl uh, Flak Vilin. Uh, 38s. We have seven of those. So that's going to be 20 in total. 20 millimeters. Also, uh, we have. Black, uh, uh, z uh, z z oh my god. Oh, so a W makes a Z, uh, makes a V sound. Flak Zavillin. Flak Zavillin. Okay, whatever. So these are dual 37 millimeters, gorgeous guns, and that is a, that's a nice anti-aircraft gun in the game. Some of the best anti-aircraft guns in the game are the 40 millimeter Bofors. I know in past videos I've talked about the American Bofors, and that's just because they've been on American cruisers and American ships. But yes, guys, I know they're Swedish. I love Sweden. I love uh, Svetka. You know, the, the vodka. You know, that's great. Also for anti-aircraft, these uh, X-Wing guns can also act as anti-aircraft. So, um, one of the main concerns I have is that we do have 8 or uh, 16 in total of these 37 millimeters. 20 millimeters in, the, in, in this game really do nothing on defense, if that makes sense. So, anything above like 37 millimeters do, or anything at or above 37 millimeters do really good anti aircraft duties because they can launch further into the sky. Um, if you've ever played with the Cleveland, Des Moines, Baltimore, New Orleans, or Nolens, uh, those are fantastic because they have a lot of 40 millimeter Bofors that can engage at much further range than the Japanese 25 or 20 millimeters. And so what happens is that you can defend the ship from incoming planes to where you can take them down as they're coming to you. So there'll be five in the distance and before they drop the torpedoes will only be three. So only three torpedoes hits. From my understanding, from my um, experience in World of Warships, the 20 millimeters do good once the torpedoes are dropped. Because they have to get so close to you for the 20 millimeters to engage that they do kill one or two planes on their way back to the ship. But um, you don't really care about that. You care about how, maintaining health throughout the battle. All right, yeah, so that's pretty much it, guys. Um, remember, before we start the gameplay, this is probably a 15-minute intro. I am sorry. I just love talking because I haven't talked in the microphone for a very long time. Um, make sure to follow the Twitter. If you haven't, if you have followed, just refollow. Just click the button, unfollow, and follow, whatever. Also, guys, um, before we start the gameplay, Water Worships is branching out. As you guys can see, we do have some trees and stuff. A lot of foliage has been added to the maps um, for our enjoyment. Oh my God, you're so gorgeous. I was, I was expecting a nice like roundel right here, if you will. Yeah, this is this that that is very historical. <laughs> All right, guys, let's get into it. Thanks for watching. Here we go. All right, guys. So welcome to the first game with the Turpets. Islands of Ice is a pretty semi-historical fitting map for this ship. Uh, so let's go over what makes the Turpets the Turpets. So uh, first off, as you guys can see, look at this gun rotation time. I don't know if you, can, if you guys can see it. Look at that. That is very fast for high caliber guns. Um, so what that means is that if there's multiple targets, there's someone, you know, destroyer that comes up near you, you're able to rotate your guns very fast without opening up your ship to rotate them faster. And that's what I found out um, with using the Yamato sometimes, that to get my guns on target, I had to put my ship at a very broadside position if my guns were turned a certain way because the Yamato guns take forever to turn. Now, recently they were buffed to turn a little bit faster 
Um, but the turbot's guns do turn very fast. And something I didn't even mention in the intro of this video is this thing. I don't know. We're kind of fired off. That's nice and safe. Nowhere. It has torps. It has four launchers on each side or uh, one turret and four tubes. So eight in total, which makes... It, it's just like you, you get close to somebody in battle and you have the potential ability of damaging him for 40,000 damage if you get all four torps on target. At least maybe plus or minus some of that. Also, the turpets has very good reload rate. We're going to fire... Actually, we're just going to reload to AP. Watch the reload rate. 25 seconds. Now, this is a tier 8, so there's no um, ramming or gun rammer uh, upgrade for this ship. At least I haven't seen it. What else? Oh yeah, the other, upgrade, the other upgrade I have on the ship, I should have gone over this in the intro, but I was just talking too much, um, is that the turrets have very, er, has weak armor on it, so I do have turret upgrade as well to protect these guns, because I have I've, I have seen, at least in my PAX stream, that I did get two or three, um, not in a single battle, but um, taken out. So I do have that upgrade as well. What else? Uh, the rudder shift time sucks ass. So, okay, hang on, we have, oh fuck, I'm so dead. By the way, we are versing tier 10s and tier 8. We have a midway. We have the Hakururu. I don't pronounce it right. I really don't care. Okay, hang on. Where are you? Ooh, he's turning in, boys. We're going to shut off right here. On the way. Also, the Turpit's guns have a little bit of a shotgun effect. The dispersion is pretty poor. So I do have an accuracy upgrade on those as well. Look at that Nagato just turn off the shells. We got some hits on him. Yay. <laughs> I honestly might be using AP this or high explosive this game. All right, here we go. Let's see. Let's hear some German anti-aircraft guns. There we go. Nice. I like that noise. So we're escorting the Iowa class. We might actually want to deviate behind them a little bit more because as mix as miss shells come in, they could actually hit us instead of him. Launching the scout plane. Some more range. I'll take it, man. I really will take that. Incoming shells for me. Those are going right for me. These are... Nope, going over the Iowa. Nice. Nice shells on target. Going to go ahead behind this iceberg right now. Here come mine. You're looking mighty fine to me, boys. Right for the boiler room. I saw, I saw this go through his ship a little bit too high on the fire. This looks like this looks right in line where he's going right now. He should be peeling off soon because there's a mountain or iceberg in front of him. A little bit above him. Alright, so next targets we have a Izumo and a, a Magi. These guys are squared up perfectly. Pretty much the Zumo strategy is to sit there, show them your front guns, and that's it. But the Amagi, oh, that is beautiful. I'm trying to pick my target carefully right now. This is just gorgeous. The American Iowa's right in front of me. We're sailing kind of the same speeds. Four shots right there. I thought them uh way too high this game. Fuck, I'm rusty. There's 3,000 damage though. Let's try to get a citadel. This is right at waterline, guys. Oh, those are looking gorgeous. Those are so beautiful. Those are such those are such beautiful shells. Oh, I was, I was, I was waiting for the double Citadel because those are just gorgeous shots. That's like 1 out of 10 shots, and you just see them line up right on the target. You're like, oh, baby, yes. So we just got a nice Citadel on the Imagi. 
Uh, a Citadel early game makes you feel really good, kind of a little bit, a little bit cocky, a little confident. So it's nice to have one of those. Okay, the Midway's having trouble getting to us. The Hakorudu, uh or Hakoruru, I don't fucking care, is uh, a very dominant carrier, guys. Very dominant. So if you guys see that guy on your team, eh, pretty much, not always you win, but a lot of the times you do. Okay, now who else is who? Who wants some pain? We have some close guys right here. We might be able to get a, a close shot in real quick on this. Uh, he's out of range just by a little bit. We have a Megami, North Carolina over there that we're going to go engage. I'm still with an Iowa. I'm with two Iowas and a Turpins. You, this is a cool line. This is why I play World of Warships. Just for like, and these games are like, you can't plan this. You know, well, sure you can if you're in te team speak, but like just players working together, learning the game and adapting is just some of the best experience I've had in these games before. Okay, here we go. Pensacola, Pensacola, where would a Pensacola go? Should have saved those guns. We have a lot of battleships coming up. Full power, come on. We need to see, see our mic on this ship. Missed him by a little bit. Probably about 50 or 60 feet. Icebergs, man. This is not an iceberg, it's a fucking mountain. There's a teamish Nagato in the rear. This guy's gonna beach himself soon if he doesn't change heading. There's a nice shot right there in the North Carolina. Oh, that grouping is fantastic as well. Eh, a little bit of it is. So we aimed at the water line, so we should hit below the water line for a Citadel. Good shot though. About 4,000 damage in that salvo. Roger that. Can, can I turn away right now? Yeah, I can get my back guns on target. Here we go. This guy's gonna... I'm not even gonna fire this guy. He's gonna rip so soon. Oh, I will fire this North Carolina. It's gonna push through here very soon. Is it a... Oh, oh yeah. Right below the water line, right below the water line. And we're firing. Oh my god, look at this fire going in, boys. I love it. I love it. He's breaking, though. Breaking hard. My shot's missed. God, how did that get away from me so fast? Man, I'm having too much fun. North Carolina is fully stopped or backing up. He's going to go full power soon. No problem. A little mistake. Can we make up with that? that can we make up for that mistake for some citadels? A little, really good shell, citadels! Oh, where did those shells go? Those are looking great. All right, here we go. We'll reverse in the rear, get a rudder shift up. There we go. We have an Iowa super close to us, too. Iowa's going balls to the walls right now. One thousand damage. That looks pretty cool, doesn't it, though? Can we just sit here? Oh, I wanted some ramming action to go on. Okay, here we go. Getting back into the battle. Our team has done fantastic this game. 20 hits, one citadel. A lot of teamwork. Come on, I was... There we go. I forgot to also mention uh, the acceleration with the turpits is fantastic. Look at this. 7, 8, 9, 10. Fast accelerating ship. Very good for some of those stop and go tactics. Some of you guys like to use. Okay, so we have a... Ooh, that over here. Roger that. Now, we've run into one mountain this game, so let's try to limit that. Oh, hi, Baba. He's stopping right now. Good salvo. Good grouping. That is that is boiler room shots for you guys. That's boiler room right there. That's boiler room. God, Citadels are just sometimes there and sometimes not. But the thing is, is just good shots on targets are always key. Even if you miss or don't get the Citadel, you know, having those good hole shots is just really good practice because sometimes they'll go through and you'll do a lot of fucking damage. Okay, so we're gonna rotate our guns to the right real quick. North Carolina is a one-shot, too, once he pops out. 
Now, this North Carolina, this, our North Carolina is probably going to have a nice shot on the uh, North Carolina enemy team, but he might actually engage the Otago when he pops out. We're going to, yeah, well, hold, hold on. Let's just make sure he's ripped. Okay, there we go. On to the next guy. Back gun should be rotating around halfway. Nice speed. Oh, Citadels. <laughs> <laughs> Once you get one Citadel, you want more. All stations, concentrate fire on the target. Concentrate okay, the Otago is the now warship. border or line riding, which is very hard to kind of judge his heading. But I feel like World Warships corrected that with it straightens them out right away. You can be turning a, a right. There we go. He's still turning right. Still turning right. I played very defensively this this match. Here we go. Enemy cruiser destroyed. He only had three thousand health left, and they gave me a citadel for that. That's that's, that's like fuck you, man. <laughs> hey, well we got our citadel. All right, now we're uh, teaming up with Peter Griffin in the Yamato. We're gonna be engaging the Nagato very soon. We're at 25 knots. Watch this acceleration. <sighs> What's this thing? I got a BMW engine? Fuck yeah. Okay, we'll be in target in about two or three seconds. Three, two, four. 18.1 shells going in. Those hurt. Shells on target. Beautiful shells. Take that. 11,000 uh, or 10,000 damage of salvo right there. Very nice. Look at the reload rate, too. It's just gorgeous. Oh, it sucks. His, his shells just got um, eaten by that uh, iceberg. Alright, guys, so that's pretty much game. We do have a midway still up, but we're probably going to cap. And, um,. None of us, none of our guys have died yet. That's, wow, that is fantastic. Good game. Only 28 hits this match, but with 28 hits and two Citadels, uh, well, we, we did kind of steal that Otago, but I thought he was, like, pretty decent health, but that North Carolina did rip him. Um, with 28 hits and two Citadels, our team must have been, done very well this game. None of us died, or let's just say, let's, let's just say that we do have two dive bombers that might be able to rip something. Okay, turning into the cap, we'll get some cap points real quick. Look at this rudder shift. Woo, baby. We'll get you some nice cinematics on this baby. I don't know if you guys used to play Navy Field 1. Navy Field 2 suck balls. Uh, Navy Field 1, but like, I was like, man, you know, I can't, I know it's, you know, a 2012, and I was sitting in my uh, house in Chicago, or at my, 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 my father's house, or my family's house, and I was like, man, you know, in a little bit of years, I know they're going to make a new game of this that's so much better, and has 3D models, and it's here. And I'm playing it. And I wish I appreciated it more, but I've been surrounded by these graphics for a while now. But with the Turpets, I do appreciate a lot of the 3D modeling. <laughs> Fantastic. Look at this midway, too. Look at this midway. <laughs> that is carrier gameplay for you. Now, is he in the wrong? No, he's a carrier. He has no escorts. He should be hiding, but it's kind of like... Ugh. When you when you verse a Hakururu, um, you get silenced pretty easily. Because I was talking to iChase, and I was like, Why is the American carrier midway so shitty with fighters? And he's like, Well, it's kind of like a strike bomber or strike... Carrier. I didn't really understand it too much, but uh, the Japanese tier 10 carrier can control air superiority and bombing runs. So I think Wargaming needs to fix a little bit of the carrier gameplay. But that's not what this video is about. We got only 55,000 damage that game, but the overall team play and everything was wonderful. We'll get another one for you guys. Say, say, these nuts. These nuts. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So welcome back. 
the second gameplay, I just had Laura move your toe, say D's nuts with the microphone. You know, she's one of the best D's nutsers I've ever seen. Uh, I, I, I think I, th I think it goes me, Laura, and then Baron, and then Royal. Royal has a really good D's nuts, but he doesn't say it enough. Slick has one of the worst D's nuts I've ever, ever heard. It's horrible. It makes me cringe every time I hear, hear it. But that's not the point of this video. I just wanted to, well, I, I just wanted you guys to hear Laura's voice. She actually flew down today to stay with me for 10 days, just feeling out for to maybe apply for some jobs because she will be moving down here very shortly. But let's see who this Mamma Jamma is. We have an Amagi over here. We'll go ahead and rip him in Reperonis. This is high explosive, but whatever. Loading the AP. There we go. Come on, Zhao. We need you. There's some nice shots, actually. Get him on fire a little bit, maybe 2,000 damage. Or we splice him like that. It's RNG, man. It happens to everybody. Here's a Baltimore, Mayoko. Where are our battleships over here? The Iowa's getting fucked up. Okay. Oh, God. I cannot penetrate his armor. I don't think I can penetrate his armor, but we'll try. We'll drop the torpedo soon. Some nice shots on target. Citadel, please. Hey, 5,000 damage. Here comes 12, 16 inches to my face. Oh, they're going for the Baltimore rip. Right, we're going to pull back very, very soon. One more salvo on this guy. Or, 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 oh, this North Carolina is so nice right now. Look, look, look at this gun rotation time. This, this is what I'm talking about right now. Turn it away, turn it away. Get, hide that broadside, hide that broadside. Eight thousand damage like that? Fuck. Here comes the Montana shells. These are gonna hurt. These guys are very defensive right now. They're playing pretty decently. Des Moines. Fuck. Peace out. Repairing very soon after the next salvo comes in. We're still okay. Ah, there we go. We got a nice citadel on the Des Moines. Let's pull back here. This is not our battle. Tier 8 versus Tier 9s and 10s. Okay, so we got him to pull back a little bit. Not too aggressive. When the enemy's running away yet, sometimes you gotta pull off because their defensive retreat is actually more effective than your push. If that makes sense. Okay, we have a Megami class I can fire at right now. See increasing or decreasing, he's increasing, so right here will be he's actually turning into the Des Moines. We're gonna fire for effect. Just out of range, he's, he's leaving my range right now. Fuck. Once this once this reload rate up, we're gonna use our scout plane to get some range in that Montana. There we go. That's our max range right there. Don't know if those will hit, but we'll try it. We're worth a try. Here come our shells. Can we get any hits on him? Ooh, Nelly. Ooh, nothing. Two hits. The Montana's armor is just going to defeat ours or our shells every time at tier 8. A little bit of some spamming shots there. Now, if you guys look at the shells from the um, Bism or not, uh, oh, I mean the Bismarck class. Hang on, let's look at these. We're on good line. We're on very good line right here. A little too short. Actually not. We can't penetrate at this range on the Montana class. It's just not going to happen. Let's go for the let's go for the weakest link right now. He's a, he, he should turn away, open up for his broadside. I would assume. Alright, we're off that. We need to actually take care of our cap area. They are infiltrating this area right now. It's looking really good. Oh, that's... I 
needed that. I needed that so much. We had a nice Citadel Enemy on the Des Moines. Sunk. We got him out of the battle. Des Moines are scary ships, man. Oh, we got one shell over the mountain, hopefully. Oh my gosh, that's what I'm talking about. Got an Amagi, we're, we're on him right now. He's a fast ship, we'll aim nice in front of him. We're not gonna repair our ship yet. We, we really could, and I really should. Those are Citadels. Maybe, maybe they're not, they're never Citadels. Got a nice enemy push right here. We're gonna repair our ship. Just gonna want this to reload before I have to use it again. Okay, he's dead, he's dead. Nagato coming in. They got they oh they they have a very aggressive push right now. I don't want to hit my we're gonna slow down so, so the Zao can get in front of me. Or Zayo. Speed up, speed up, speed up, speed up. Oh, this is really nice, sir. He's reversing right now. Oh, he is so fucking dead. Oh, I wanted to kill so bad. All right, next target is Nagato. We're going to rip him pretty soon. We have an Ibuki Tier 9 Japanese cruiser up next. Oh, my God. Look at our team just working together. That is very scary. That is some of the scariest fire I've ever seen. Carpets, close range engagement, some of the best stuff you'll ever see. The fast reloading. Oh shit, he just got messed up. What was that, our Baltimore? Fuck. The fast firing guns that the Turpets have is, is just it's fantastic for close range engagements as well as the torpedoes. I haven't used them in this battle because it's kind of situational, very situational to use them. Is he actually out there in the open? Holy crap. Rip, sir. Good battle. That's nice. Enemy cruiser destroyed. Thank you for yo 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 Duff. Duff's one of my fun viewers. I like Duff a lot. He hates me though because I I I because I, I usually kill him in a battle every time. Yo, Duff, one on one me turpits when it comes out. All right, so we have two more, three more ships. I think two battleships. Iowa and Montana. They have definitely been um, kind of past this game, which isn't a bad thing for me. Well, it's bad for their team because they have not really done their duty this game. Now, you can blame that on us for pushing them so far back into their spawn that they really can't do anything. Here we go. He'll be in range when these shells drop. We'll go ahead and fire a lead. I saw him turning last second, so I kind of went spammy. Look at the turpid shotgun. Long range turpid shells are not that good. Full broadside. Now, if you can get them a little bit angled like this, they work a lot better because, you know, it's a, it's a smaller firing arc. I shouldn't do any damage to this guy at all. We're gonna fire uh, HE next shot. Is he, is he idle? If one of these hits, they're definitely bouncing. Montana's arm is just so fantastic at range. We're gonna open up for a high explosive salvo. He is dead in the water, it looks like. We're gonna fire right at him. Oh, get over those hills. Hey, there's there we go. You can't pet him with AP, hit him with high explosive. No fire set though. We got a Montana 
moving out to the right. Oh, this is the Iowa class. Holy crap. Rotating guns to the right. This is where you're going to see the, the uh, fast rotating turrets come into effect right now. Look at that. They're already quarter way. While I'm turning my ship to the left, they're turning away from. So he's turned into us, so these really won't do too much damage, will they? This guy is sitting. So you might be able to get some torpedoes off on this guy. Citadels for days. What are those? This shit. Oh, 1,000 damage. Fuck. Torpedoes out just for the fucking fun of it. That battleship's like, what are those, dude? Should I, shall we find torpedoes the hit? He might not. He might not. Torpedoes be. direct front. Oh, if my torpedoes hit. That'd be fantastic. We got one on the way. He's turning. He's turning inside on the guns. Trying to have some fun. Well, we could have gotten four kills this game. That's all right. We gotta deal with a Montana or a Iowa over here. Last, last guy in the game. So, if you guys look at this strategy this guy has used, we'll, we'll use our scout so I can zoom above this mountain real quick. Whoa, 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 whoa! Am I in heaven right now? Scout See that guy, launched. guys? Uh, that's a Honestly, it looks it looks like very poor play, but at the same time, look how much damage he's taken sitting sti uh, sit still. He's very easy to hit, but the Iowa's armor and the way he's angled is very hard for us to penetrate him. Now we are coming around to the left side of him, which does make him a much easier target for us to engage. But s since or he he was engaging more to the right, it's a very good strategy, in, at least in World of Warships. I wish it would tell you that you can't fire over a mountain. Like, nope, 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 nope. 12 seconds. 11. Oh, he just got double citadel to look like. Three citadels that game. I think we got two citadels. Did we get one citadel every kill? I don't remember. No, we didn't. We had a Des Moines that we struck early game. Then we citadeled him again later in game and killed him. Then we citadeled a whatever it was called, a Yibuki. But great game, guys. I hope you have enjoyed this video. In the comments below, go ahead and vote on what ship you want me to take out next to continue the World of Warships series, as well as follow my Twitter because I like followers and they're fantastic. Uh, you do a little bit for me, and hopefully I can. Hopefully you'll win um, turpits, a turpit ship. Now there are being two given away and three Marblehead codes. You guys have a great day. Peace out.